We have a need in the military for our aircraft to fly GPS approaches. The equipment we have on board many of our fast jet aircraft isn't actually certified for use to fly civil approaches at civil airfields. We know the plane is landed and we want to reconstruct a better quality trajectory. We use bidirectional STM. To address this challenge, Aero Control in the UK Defence Airspace and Air Traffic Management have developed a tool to determine the total system error of the aircraft which in turn will be measured against the PBN accuracy requirements. The tool that the team here at Eurocontrol have developed gives us a way to measure the performance of our aircraft and to actually see how they've flown a procedure. And so building up that information means that we can then have confidence when we certify it to say yes it can meet the requirements for a particular type of navigation. For the first time we'll be able to measure the total system error of a military aircraft using artificial intelligence. We had to come up with our own metrics, bridging the machine learning perspective uh, towards the business perspective, especially in the part of evaluating the model. We actually reconstruct the path of the aircraft, so for the inputs of the tool we use uh, aircraft performance data, we use weather data and some lower quality trajectories and the model reconstruct the kind of smooth, higher quality, higher precision trajectory. Uh, we had a uh, very agile and very iterative development. We had several sessions uh, with our stakeholders and we had to several times retrain the model. So we leveraged a lot from the big data technology stack. Uh, we work completely on cloud infrastructure with the access from the data lake which show the best results. It's not just the UK military, it's all militaries across Eurocontrol, which is why we propose this. It's not just something for us. It has been a, a, a great project. For the first time we are applying uh, artificial intelligence in this domain and after eight months we are happy to present the minimum viable product to all our member states as part of our Innovation Hub project. This is a step to making it easier to show that we can be safe and responsible users of airspace and can do these things in the same way that a commercial airliner would do.